but yeah, I remember when it came out. I remember watching uh, the Metal Meltdown talk about it, and I remember I was interested, so I wanted to like see what it was all about. So I remember typing the name into, into uh, YouTube, seeing what comes up. And the first thing that came up was uh, this music video for a cover song of uh, the police's uh, Every Breath You Take. I started watching the music video, and it basically shows this woman in, in a shower and like Devil Daddy like singing a song, but like he's like looking at her from a window. And I think I watched it for like 30 seconds and then I turned it off. <laughs> it's just, it, it just like couldn't like continue to watch it anymore. And then I think I tried to listen to the album. I put on one song and after like the Once first I saw a little hearing the lyrics, I, I turned it off. And a year later, uh, he puts out like nine albums in one day and he changes his name to uh, the Psycho Sinner. Nine albums in one day. That's oh my. Yeah, God. I know. I know. Also, the the metal meltdown uh, did a review of that. I don't know how he listened to all of them, but he they he were did. you know the same kind of thing. It was like just nine albums, and a lot of the the songs were like like remade. I think I think he changed some of the lyrics, and uh, I think after a year after that, he released like two more albums, and then that's it. Like this. This album is hard to find. Like it was taken off all the streaming services. Basically, my first impression is it sounds like Five Finger Death Punch, but worse and more generic. I mean, a lot like musically, a lot like it just sounds like he like downloaded these like templates of like just like basic like rock tracks and he just like wrote these lyrics, which are very like cringe work worthy, like. Tom was saying it does sound like just like some like uh, you know kid who who wrote it or you know, some you know, the, the lyrics weren't very good. I think out of all the songs, 